we'll try again on Carlos Dunlap. Yeah, now yeah, now that we have a name to attach, yeah. What do you feel like he brings that uh, maybe you guys didn't have? Yeah, I mean, listen, the, the first thing that sticks out is the length. Uh, I remember the, the couple of years we had TK, right? And I always thought that was nice to have inside or outside because I think, you know, that's tough for quarterbacks. So that's the first thing. It's another veteran. You know, that's been through the thick of things. So I think that's an advantage. And then short of that, I mean, I've obviously seen him play, not a lot. I mean, I watched a little bit of tape, but it's really going to be uh, us figuring out what he can do, what, you know, where to put him. There's a lot of that going on right now. And I'm not sure. I don't think he got a rep there in the 10-10-10 because he's not really up to speed on what we're doing. But I think Andy probably said the same thing with um, Orlando Brown, although Orlando Brown's been here, so he knows what he's doing. But it's going to be a little bit of a ramp up and kind of, when he feels like he's got it down, we'll get him in there and get him rolling. You, you, know? you mentioned a rotation deal, Coach. It seems like over the past week, uh, Joshua Williams as well as Jalen Watson have been working yeah. with the ones. What are yeah. you looking for specifically with those two? Yeah, guys? a little bit of challenge in each guy. I mean, nobody is handed over a spot, right? So when you get a little bit comfortable, that's not a good thing in this business. Um, so we do that just to make sure that they're all aware that nothing's won right now. Nothing's carved in stone right now in terms of who's playing where and what. Now, we'll, we'll eventually get there. But, you know, and the other thing is when, you, when you're when uh, you at any position, when you're maybe playing with the third group and all the thir third group guys are all young, it doesn't go off quite as smooth. You know what I mean? So sometimes you put them at the first group to see how he functions when everybody's functioning fast. You're working with Nick, you know, and so that's a reason why we put Jalen up there a little bit to see what he functions like. Dave Toe talked about him being uh, Players, young players being able to, he, he can pick up as far as like if, if they're able to uh, be out there and, and they know exactly, he, he can tell oh, yeah. exactly what, you know, how good they are. Yeah. How, how long does it take for you? Well, well good in terms of a couple of different goods, you know, good physically, but you're going to have, you want to be able to tell that and what you and I were talking about. The mental part of it, I always test, you guys don't always see the walkthroughs we do. I call them ACTs, uh, alignment, communication, and technique. I do them fast. Uh, now we got just some managers running around, but I, per I do them fast on purpose because I'm looking at them and seeing how fast they're thinking to do a walkthrough as a slow deal. I don't, I don't get any feedback out of that. So we're always testing them that way too. Coach, yeah. you know you have him Rashad Sanders, but he, he's missed a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. With the competition going on at the cornerback position, how do you anticipate working Fenton into this mix? I mean, he's, gonna get, he's gonna get right in there and be competing with that same group. I mean, he's played some good football for us, especially on the outside. We just want to get him healthy and get him back there. I'm anxious to get him back out there and, and rolling. I'm looking forward to it. He'll be right in there. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.